Hey guys, the Random Unboxer 101 here. What's up? Today I'm here with an unboxing that comes from Flatters, as you can see. So thanks so much to them for sending me out this product free of charge for review purposes. As you might be able to notice, I did fast forward the unboxing application just so the review could be more detailed and the video wouldn't be super long. So I do apologize. And I am doing a voiceover right now. So as you can see, they did send me quite a few things. First thing we have are some business cards. They actually sent me quite a few, so I will be sending those out to giveaway winners. And you can check them out at www.flatters.com. Now, taking a look at what they actually sent me, they were kind enough to send me six packs of flatters, so thanks so much to them. Two for the Magic Mouse, two for the Mighty Mouse, and two for the Universal PC Mouse, of course. And the one I'm going to be reviewing is the one for the Mighty Mouse. So I really did like their packaging, very simple just comes out like so and it actually felt pretty cool it's my first impression on the product itself now going on to the installation as you can see first thing I did was remove the lid off of the Mighty Mouse I practiced on how I was going to realign it and then I gave it a quick wipe with my microfiber cloth now as you can see I did have a pretty big issue peeling off the sheet from the flighters itself for some odd reason but once I surpassed that issue, the installation itself was very straightforward. And even when I did make a mistake, I could simply peel it off and realign it with no issues and stuff like that. So it was a very nice, easy installation. Overall, I'd say the installation took a minute, excluding the hard issue I had with removing the sheet from the flighters. And that's all there is to the installation. So let's just go ahead and move straight on into the full-on review, which I filmed one month later, FYI. Hey guys, the Random Unboxer 101 here. What's up? Today I'm here to review the Flyders. Now, before I get into more details about this product, I'd just like to ask you guys a few questions. Has this ever happened to you while you're gaming, playing Counter Strike or Call of Duty? You got this huge kill streak going on, pushing all the buttons, moving your hand around, and bam, your mouse falls off the mouse pad. The sensitation laser gets all messed up, and all you can do is watch yourself die. Well, I know that sucks. Besides, who wants to carry this bulky mouse pad around with you? It's pretty heavy and floppy at the same time. Well, the solution to that issue are the Flatters, the original slippers for your mouse. Retails for $9.95 on their website and comes in three different models. First of all, you have the Mighty Mouse Flatters, which is the one I'm going to be reviewing right now. Next up, you have the Magic Mouse Flatters, which covers the two rails, and this is the latest Apple mouse out there in the market at this very moment. And of course, how could you leave out the beautiful PCs, the Universal Mouse? done by Flyders. Now this has four little pads along with six larger pads depending on how big your mouse is. It works with any shape and it just goes on either side like so. The installation is very easy and straightforward and the Flyders themselves are made out of a distinctive blend of synthetic materials that are pressed together. Now it's pretty coarse but it's not hard enough to scratch up your surface yet it still glides very smoothly hence the name Flyders as you can see no issues now it's not so smooth and slippery that it just moves around unintentionally and stuff like that you're gonna have to use your hand to move it and it does make a pretty loud noise as you can see well not loud it just makes this kind of coarse feel noise as you can hear yes and this is on a wooden table so the flat is right here you know what it's made out of if we go ahead and take this out I'll show you how thick it is and I'll talk a little bit about the durability now it just goes on the mouse lid like so, as you can see it's pretty thick, it's not thin, and the stickiness of this does not wear out. I've been using it for a month or so, I've put it through a lot of things, I've been using it, I've been dropping it, doing all that cool stuff to my mouse that I love to do with it, and as you can see the stickiness is not wearing out, it's pretty thick, the material hasn't gone off with the stickiness either, and it's just pretty durable from the looks of it of a month's use. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at some diseases your mouse can catch, you might want to consider the flatters. Your mouse could possibly have the mouse pad blues, noisy mouse itties, sticky mouse syndrome, gramophobia, mouse arm misery, runaway mouse foot, and flatter envy. Now, honestly, you wouldn't want your mouse to have those diseases, and this could help fix it, guys. It's definitely a solution. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, unfortunately, the flatters only come in one color at the moment, which is the black. They're soon to come out with new colors though, so make sure you go ahead and stay tuned for that. And I definitely say the Flyters, they're a pretty cool product. 
it definitely eliminates the bulkiness of a mouse pad and you can't really go off the mouse pad anymore since it's glued to the bottom of your mouse. It definitely does take a little bit of getting used to since I've been using a mouse pad for the longest time ever. And I'm so used to it that when you take away the bulk and stuff like that, it's really different. But it's not like something that you're going to totally hate. It's a cool product. It might take a few days to getting used to and after that it will be all back to normal. Now you cannot use them together because the material down here is so coarse that it just kind of sticks and stuff like that as you can see. But it doesn't affect the way you game and stuff like that. I'd say it actually could help it to some extent. And honestly, it's very accurate when you move it around because you're probably thinking, when I first saw it, I thought that it wouldn't be accurate. But you move it around, the mouse moves with how the, the mouse cursor moves with how the mouse is moving. And it's very accurate as well. So in general, I'd give this product an 8 out of 10. It's definitely a cool product, but I'd say it's slightly overpriced. For maybe $10, they could maybe lower the price for $8 at the moment. Since you could buy a mouse pad for $10. And although it won't be as high quality as this one that I have, it'll probably just be without the gel pad just like this. And it will be bulky. Some people might choose that over the flatters for the price, in my opinion. So that was my take on the flatters. Thanks again to the kind folks over there at Flatters for sending me out these products for your charge for review purposes. It's greatly appreciated to the channel and you can definitely go ahead and check them out at www.flatters.com. The link will be down below in the description box. So thanks for watching. Please do not forget to rate, favorite, comment, subscribe. I would definitely recommend this to you if you're not too fond of a mouse pad. It's definitely another great solution out there in the mouse market. And that's pretty much all there is to this video. So I hope you guys have a nice day. And that's all there is to this video. Peace.